on this episode of My Strange Addiction. My name is Colton McIntyre. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia, and I have an addiction to eating glass. My name is Stephen Patton, and I'm from Florence, Kentucky. My strange addiction is stalking. Colton has been through three girlfriends in the past few years, and every one of them are not really into his glass eating addiction. They've called him icky and impulsively insane for consuming glass every day. Colton has eaten over 700 glass cups since 2017. This addiction has cost him over $900. He's tried to stop, but the taste of the sharp, clear crystal keeps him coming back. Hello, Colton. Can you explain to us how you started eating glass? Uh, about two years ago, I think I saw a YouTube video of a dude uh, breaking open a light breaking open a light bulb and eating it. I thought, I bet you that would. I bet. I wonder what that would taste like. So uh, when I got home that night, I took the light bulb out of my uh, fridge and burst it, broke it open, and got one of the biggest pieces and ate it. And as my teeth fell down on, on the glass, I I got this huge adrenaline rush. I was like, Ooh, this feels this feels nice. It uh, obviously it doesn't have that much of a taste, but it it's more for the texture. And then uh, the second time I ate the glass, on the same night actually, I cut open my jaw and had to go to the emergency room. Then like a week later, when my mouth was finally done healing, I told myself, "No more eating glass." And then I ate another piece of glass, and here we are now. Can you show us how you eat glass? Oh, uh, this is my fun little glass bowl that I keep little shards of glass in. The trick is to put it in the very back of your mouth. That way, it doesn't hit any of your jaw and, like, you know, cut your mouth open. And then from there, you just take your teeth and go straight down. And go straight up. The idea is not to let your tongue touch it at all because then you're going to cut your tongue open or you'll, you'll hurt something else. And then you just go up and down a bunch of times and. After you've bit down a couple times on it, it turns to a pretty fine powder, it swallows it, it's just like sand. How people get addicted to eating things. People with food addictions get their fix by eating a particular food until their brain receives dopamine that was missing. They will continue to eat food when not hungry, and they will eat an excessive amount, a lot more than necessary. More than 7 million food addictions adults are in the U.S. For Colton's addiction, things that he might eat would be champagne glasses, white wine glasses, light bulbs that are usually thinner than glass. Small pieces of glass can be passed through the system normally. Hello, Mr. McMahon. Do you know what an addiction is? Totally. An addiction is developed when the urge to take a substance hijacks parts of the brain that reward behavior and provides benefits to the body. I'm glad that you have a firm understanding because Colton has something to tell you. Dad. Yeah, what is this? Song? I have to tell you something. Anything. I'm addicted to eating glass. What the hell? I, do you know what this is doing to your body? You're taking something sharp and painful and letting it go through your esophagus, down to your stomach and your organs. That's not gonna be good. That's gonna hurt you. Are you trying to kill yourself? I, I can't stop, Dad. Any, the, anytime I ever try to stop eating glass, I get horrible headaches and I can't sleep at night and I'm constantly restless, Dad. I don't know what to do. You need to stop. Today, I'm here to talk to my doctor about my addiction and hopefully get me on the path to recovery. So, explain to me a little of what's been going on. Uh, for the past two years, I've been eating a glass cup a day. But uh, here recently, I've started to eat two glass cups a day and I worry that it's going to get worse. Well, the brain registers all pleasures in the same way, where they start with a drug, a monetary reward, or a satisfying meal. In the brain, pleasure has a distinct signature, the release of dopamine in the nucleus accumbens. 
Dopamine release in the nucleus accumbens is so consistently tied with pleasure that neuroscientists refer to the region as the brain's pleasure center. Addictions provide a shortcut to the brain's reward system by flooding it with dopamine. The hippocampus then lays down memories of the rapid sense of satisfaction, and the amygdala creates a conditioned response to certain stimuli, stimuli i.e. the glass. How do we stop that vicious cycle? Well, fortunately, a number of effective treatments exist for addiction, usually combined with self-help strategies, psychotherapy, and rehabilitation. All treatments are aimed at helping people unlearn their addictions while adapting to new, healthy coping strategies. Hello, my name is Stephen Patton, and I'm from Florence, Kentucky. My strange addiction is stalking. I've been stalking for three years now, and in that time, I've been arrested 17 times. I'm also now allowed 100 feet near any school, but that's for a different story. This is my strange addiction. Steven suffers from a behavioral addiction, which is an addiction to a certain behavior that is both rewarding and reinforcing. The essential features of a behavioral addiction is the failure to resist an impulse to perform an act that is harmful to themselves and others. How long have you known Steven, and what do you think about his addiction? I've known Steven for about four years now. I'm not going to lie, his stalking is pretty disturbing. He's gotten in trouble with the cops multiple times, and I'm here to stage an intervention with him because I'm very worried. Steven, I brought you here today because we need to talk about how this addiction is ruining your life. If you keep doing it, if you keep doing this, you're going to end up going to prison. Right now, you're in the early stage of addiction, but your friends and family are still here for you. This addiction is going to be the death of you. You are getting extremely close to the last stage of addiction, a non-functioning addict. No, I'm not addicted to stalking. We're going to a psychologist. One in six women and one in 19 men in the U.S. have experienced stalking at some point in their life. 1,006,970 women and 370,000 men are stalked annually. 52% of stalking victims were 18 to 29 years old when stalking started. 80% of stalkers are usually male. I'm here to see a specialist because apparently I am addicted to stalking and a hazard to myself and others. Okay, so we should really evaluate your stalking and what your motives ultimately are. So when you stalk someone, what's the usual procedure that you go through with? So the reason that I stalk, and it's not really stalking, it's just I find someone who I have, I'm interested in and I just follow them around a little bit, write some information about them down, every last detail about them, I take some photos of them, so that when one day I finally start a conversation up with them, we'll have something to talk about. Okay, I see. Well, there's five different subtypes of stalkers. The rejected stalker, the incompetent stalker, the resentful stalker, the predator, and the intimacy seeker. You are clearly an intimacy seeker, intimacy seeker because you are lonely and you crave intimacy. So Stephen behaves as if he has a real relationship with his victim, but it's actually all in his head and he's actually harassing them. He's convinced that he's in a real relationship, and a way to stop this stalking is to form real relationships with people who actually enjoy his company. What the hell? Do you know what that's doing to your body? To your esophagus, your stomach, your guts? You're gonna kill yourself. Are you trying to kill yourself by eating glass? Explain to me. What the f are you doing? You're hurting me. Okay, say something cool. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Please explain your addiction. Uh, I've been eating glass for about two years now. 
It's not that. You're gonna not recording you. Oh, uh, are you recording already? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is my hand in the way? I accidentally, no, st I accidentally started recording. Are you ready? Yeah, it's fine. I could cut it no matter where it's at. Okay, so. ready? Mm -hmm. Explain your addiction to me first. Um, I've been eating gloss for about two years now. I cannot express to you how hard it is to poop. I, I can't. It's horrible. Oh, wait. I don't know. Please. I've been. F you. <laughs> <laughs> Got that on camera. 